Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to give you guys an update on some of the products that I've been trying for more than a month now. As in, sobrang dami nila. Couple of base products, itong Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Concealer from Catrice, their True Skin High Coverage Concealer. This skin tint from Colorette Cosmetics. Some products from Vice, their Snap Sticks and their two new mascaras. An update on this heated lash curler. As in, sobrang na-surprise ako dun sa mga bagong things na na-discover ko dito sa product na to. And also, some of my favorite OVW brushes na nabili ko. So, yan. Ang dami natin pag-uusapan. And let's begin with yung mga base products natin. Starting with itong si Elf Cosmetics Camo Color Corrector in the shade Blue. Now, this product has been a huge game changer sa aking makeup collection. Like, I didn't expect for it to have so much value in my collection. Now, I do have a couple of foundations sa aking collection that are too yellow, too warm, too orangey. And this one helps in making those shades of foundation closer to my actual skin tone. Ito pala yung way to adjust it, to color correct it. Like before, okay lang ako sa, okay lang, pwede na siguro. Mga ganun na shade match sa akin. Like hindi siya super perfect but I'm fine with it. But ever since na I added this sa aking collection, sobrang nakita ko na how important it is talaga to find the right undertone ng foundation. Kasi it really affects how... It looks on camera, especially I am a person who is in front of the camera, diba? So, what I like about this product is, number one, yung kanyang small size. Package like this na concealer is just perfect for how I use this product. Konting adjustment lang talaga ang kailangan. So, this one is really helpful and I like yung kanyang doe foot applicator, you guys. As in, I could control how much product I need from this. And yung kanyang pigmentation is also another thing that I like about it. Kala mo marami yan. When you spread it out, you could see na hindi siya ganong ka-pigmented. Like, it's lightly tinting the foundation na medyo off sa'yo to a blue tone, pero hindi siya sobrang blue na blue. Like, it's just tinting it, not covering the entire thing. Hindi siya super opaque. I could use this for a matte foundation. I could also use this for a radiant foundation. And hindi niya nababago yung finish ng foundation ko. I did use this product today, you guys, mixed with yung first base ni Colorette Cosmetics. Like, one side merong blue color corrector, one side without. And I don't know if you noticed the difference right now kasi syempre nag-powder na ako, naglagay na ako ng Colored Cosmetics. So, baka hindi na siya ganun kahalata. But prior to powder, dun mo talaga makikita yung difference wherein yung side na walang blue color corrector, mas warm siya, mas orange, whereas dun sa other side with the blue color corrector, mas malapit siya sa skin tone ko. It may look too blue at the beginning, but once I spread it out, makikita mo how well it blended with my skin. If you're curious how this product compares dun sa GRWM shade shifter shade in the shade blue sky, then I suggest that you watch yung GRWM mega collection video ko kasi dun ko siya pair. So this one is really perfect for how I use and how much I need to adjust yung mga foundation shades ko. Kaya, sobrang nagustuhan ko talaga tong product na to. Let's talk about yung first base ni Colorette Cosmetics. This product um, was given to me by a lovely friend. The shade that I have here is Chargao. It's light with warm neutral undertone. I think that yung kanyang shade match on its own without the blue color director is fine. It's not perfect. It's either this one or Lazi yung pinagpipilian. But I'm happy naman na Shargao works fine for me. Like, I'm not someone who's really dissatisfied with the shade match na kailangan kong bubili ng ibang shade, no. Yung texture neto is more of a foundation than a skin tint to me. For it to be a skin tint, light yung coverage niya dapat and also parang medyo skin carry yung kanyang texture. This one is more foundation-y but it's really really thin. It's super smooth once you spread it out enough with your fingers, mafe-feel mo yung kanyang parang powdery sort of texture. Medyo dry yung kanyang texture which is somewhat interesting. And makikita mo yung kanyang finish you guys. It's not demi-matte, it's not totally matte it's almost matte. I didn't notice it oxidizing on me or becoming one shade darker as it dries down. Pero alam mo yung pinaka wow factor nito sa akin is yung kanyang staying power. Nakwento ko na to sa aking stories but I think it's worth sharing again for everyone who doesn't follow me on Instagram. Kaya follow me on Instagram na kasi. Marami akong pinapost din na content doon. It's how one time nagluluto ako ng barbecue. There was an event. Katapat namin is dagat. It was so hot. 
hindi pa maulan you guys. As in, talagang babad kami sa araw that entire day. We started early in the morning. Naglagay na ako ng makeup. Tapos, we came home late at night na. And ito yung base makeup na ginamit ko. Pairing ko was Charlotte Tilbury. Tapos ito, yung init ng charcoal, yung init ng araw, yung humidity, the sweat, nagsama-sama. And grabe guys, this really stayed long sa akin. I mean, syempre sa ilong part, wala na talaga. As in, wala nang pag-asa yung ilong ko kasi sobrang grabe talaga yung pinagdaanan nung makeup ko, you guys. But the entire face, nandun pa rin siya. And I was really impressed by that. Broad Spectrum SPF 30, may niacinamide siya, hyaluronic acid, azelaic acid. Bonuses na lang yun, you guys, kasi I still wear my skincare before applying makeup, tapos nagsa-sunscreen din ako. So these ones really don't matter to me. Packaging niya, wala akong masabi. I like that it's slim, I like that it's in a squeezy tube. Okay lang naman sa akin itong nozzle na to, you guys, like from my past experience na pumuputok-putok yung ibang product kasi nagka-create siya ng pressure. This one, hindi. It, it's perfectly fine. It works fine. Feeling ko this one will show up in my best of 2023, but who knows? Who knows what products will come up? But it's one of the top runners for sure. Concealer. This one is from Catrice. Ito yung kanilang True Skin High Coverage Hyaluronic Waterproof Concealer. Probably my most high coverage concealer ever. I really like the formula of this one you guys kasi sobrang wala siyang creasing na nangyayari sa akin from the many many times that i've used this uh, on different occasions aircon walang aircon even when i have long days this doesn't crease or kung meron man very very minimal lang it doesn't cause this weird texture under my eyes it doesn't emphasize dryness which is a really big factor sa akin kung bakit gustong gusto ko tong product na to I like yung kanyang applicator kasi it's just this silicone doe foot applicator na flat but also pointed really pleasing to use kasi it really gets into the inner corner part you don't need a lot of this product you guys kasi again sobrang high coverage siya. but maybe if you like high coverage products this is something that you may enjoy eventually dries down matte so ito yung mga concealer na blended and forget it hindi mo na siya kailangan iset it eventually sets on its own ako nagse-set pa rin ako ng konting powder lang just to be sure na hulas proof siya the only bad thing or i don't like about this one is yung shade match niya feeling ko it's a little too dark and too orange for me once i blend it out mukha namang okay sa akin like it's not perfect like absolutely perfect but workable na yung shade niya i am in the shade 020 Warm beige. Konti lang kasi yung shade na available dun sa Shopee, you guys. Like, kaling pato from Korea. Meron nga siyang mga Korea na sulat-sulat dito. Ayun, very limited lang. Pero, when you get it from the States, if ever you go to the States or may tita ka, relative ka in the States, meron ka pang options. Hindi lang apat. Despite yung kanyang cons, you guys, I still like this product and I don't think that I have a product like this sa aking collection. You know, it kind of reminds me of the Vice Cosmetics Floleza Concealer, pero mas maganda pa to. Kasi hindi siya ganun ka-drying, and less likely siya nagkikrease sa aking under eyes, which is really great. Kasi alam mo na, tumatanda na tayo. And to close off all the base products is Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish. I have it in the shade 1 Fair. I like it a lot. There's really no pressed powder sa aking collection quite like this. Can I say that it's worth it? I mean, it's still expensive. Like, it's ridiculously expensive. 2000 plus for just this powder na 8 grams lang. But, the effect that it has sa akin, like, if I really want to be snatched, I really want to impress people with how good my makeup looks, Ito yung product na gagamitin ko. I don't think that this is a powder that I will use every day. Pwede ko rin kasi tong tipirin, like, use a different setting powder, tapos use this na lang on top of it just to blur and to perfect yung aking skin. Ito na siguro yung pinaka-traceless na powder sa akin, you guys. Even though that I apply so much powder na on my skin, it's not gonna look cakey too heavy on me and now i understand why this is always coming up on people's favorites kahit na ang tagal-tagal na netong product na to i understand i really understand now why it's like that and why it's so iconic but i don't necessarily think that it's absolutely necessary na kailangan mo talaga to bilhin you know I mean, if you have the budget for it and you haven't tried it yet, been always in your wish list, then 
maybe you can check it out and try it yourself but you know if there are budget constraints that's totally fine you don't have to get this powder. Ang powder na to is not life-changing. May mga powders na available dun sa different price points that are somewhat close to this that maybe you would enjoy. So, ayun. I just don't want to say na I like it so much but na-pressure kayo to buy it. Just, you know, buy within your means lang talaga. Wala kong bronzers na ni-review lately, you guys. Kinamit ko lang yung sa Vice Cosmetics X Uncloots, yung kanilang first collaboration face palette. Yun yung bronzer na ginamit ko for today and also for contouring my nose and such. But for blushes, ito yung ginamit ko today. This one is from Unleashia, yung kanilang Siswa Butter Waffle Dough Blusher. Ang haba ng kanyang pangalan, pero ayun siya. I have it in the shade Honey Oolong, tsaka itong Strawberry Vanilla. Actually, they sent this to me in PR. Apat na shades sila lahat. Ito yung dalawa lang na gusto kong i-keep sa aking collection. Kasi yung apricot, I'm not really a peachy blush kind of girl lately. And also, I have a couple of peach blushes na anyway sa aking collection. And also, yung rose na shade. Kahit na gusto ko yung mga blushes na ganong color, hindi ko na siya kinip kasi medyo marami na akong ganon. For this product, I can see it working for some people and some that do not. These are very, very lightly pigmented. Like, it doesn't show up masyado sa akin. Like, sa swatch ganito. But when I use a brush, hindi siya ganun ka nag-register sa aking skin. Nakakailang layers ako just so that this shows up on my cheeks. For light people to medium skin tone, siguro this could work for you. But if you're someone who has a deeper skin tone than that, then I don't see this working for you. Baka nga magmukha pa siyang ashy or baka may whitish siya na undertone pa na lumalabas sa'yo. Interestingly, ang kanyang texture is very plush-like. Like, makita nyo, when I press this, bumabaon siya and nagkikreate siya ng mga fingerprints. So, it's really soft, smooth, almost creamy, very putty-like yung texture niya. Hindi siya powdery at all. Parang cream lang siya na sobrang tigas na halos matutuyo. Parang ganun yung feeling niya. If you're someone who likes barely their makeup, I mean, very natural looking, then maybe this is something that you would like. When it comes to dun sa kanilang shades, you guys, dalawa yung favorite ko. One of them is yung rose, yung fourth shade that they have. But ito yung pinaka-favorite ko, you guys. Yung number three, honey oolong shade. Kasi, look at that gorgeous brown shade. It's so pretty. It kind of reminds me of my favorite blush from Lorac, Pirates of the Caribbean Face Palette. This is what I mean. Itong blush shade na to. Like, it kind of reminds me of that. Kaya sobrang, sobrang love ko siya. It's a blush shade that goes well with everything. The rose shade, I also could say the same thing. Pero feeling ko ito mas compatible talaga with any look. I think around 500 pesos yung kanyang price point, you guys. 550 at ang mga ganun. So, it's not that cheap rin. For the formula, I would understand why they price it that way. But ang habol mo lang talaga is the shade. There are so many options for blushes nowadays. Creams, mutayus tint, powders, liquid blushes even. Baka meron kang mas cheaper option dun sa shades na napupusuan mo from here. So, do take note of that if you want Want to purchase any of these. So, tapusin na natin yung cheek. One of my favorite products dito sa batch of updated reviews. The Kiko Melano Glitter Baked Face Highlighter. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I can't stop gushing about this product. It's so beautiful. I'm just gonna give you guys a really, really nice swatch right here. It looks so beautiful and natural looking. Satin shimmer with translucent base. Tapos tinagdagan mo pa ng konting glitter particles na very, very fine. Ganun siya kaganda. I don't know how this can be glittery, but still looks so natural when it hits the light. Really fine yung glitter specks niya dito na hindi naman siya overpowering, overwhelming, or too makeup-y looking. I mean, glitter and natural looking, they're just geniuses. I don't know how they were able to combine two contrasting things in just one product, but they were able to nail it talaga yung kanyang formula. I got this at a discount kasi my friend was decluttering it, so medyo mura ko siya nabili. But if it were on full price, yung opinions ko about it, Maybe it's slightly different, you know, kasi syempre, mas mahal talaga siya full price. Like, I think 1000 plus. Basing it from the products that they posted online, I can't really find this particular product online. I don't understand why they're not posting this online. I mean, they're missing out. They're missing out. This is something that 
feel ko needs more hype. Ako yung magiging conductor ng hype train nito kasi sobrang ganda talaga nito. One of my favorite highlighters for sure, 2023. Sinasabi ko na. Lip products muna kasi na-realize ko na wala pala akong lip product. So ito yung Peri Pera Tinted Lip Balm. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung pangalan niya. But I'm just gonna link it down below or right down here sa aking captions. But I'm just gonna apply it for you. When I'm applying this, na naamoy akong scent you guys. It smells like yung Roman Juicy Lasting Tint. Kapareho yung scent niya. This is in the shade Mauve Promenade din ata. Basta yung fourth shade nila, number four. This is the mauve shade that I am dying to try put on my lips. I've been searching for a color like this. Binili ko to kasi gusto ko nung una bumili nung Revlon Glass Shine in the shade Glaze Mauve na shade. Pero wala kasi ako mahanap na ganun na. Pero ito yung nakita kong possible alternative. And grab you guys, I'm so happy that I purchased this. Kasi ang ganda talaga na shade na to. It's a mauve that gives more purple. Hindi siya mukhang pink. I mean, it still looks pink, but you could see yung kanyang pagka-purpliness there, right? And it's super unique sa aking collection na tong shade na to. I bought this in Korea, but you can also purchase this online or offline. Again, I'm going to link it below. And offline stores, I think, meron dun sa Look At Me. Basta kung saan may merong pere-pera. Yung kanyang formula is more of that balmy texture. Hindi siya yung parang jelly, lip mask, very cushiony feel. It's more of that waxy lip balm, moisturizing feel on the lips. Although right now, when I applied it on my lips, I think naka 2-3 layers na ako dito. Which is really nice and shiny looking. Pero it's not going to be as glassy or shiny looking as yung GRWM lip boost or yung Revlon Glass Shine na lipstick. But really, the color is really what I'm aiming for. So I really like that if you're looking for a true cool mauve na shade. And other lip balms that we have to talk about is yung Unleashia Red Pepper Paste Lip Balm. It's super cute itong product na to. I mean, plumping lip balms is not new to me, but how they marketed this is really interesting. Kasi may halo siyang red pepper paste when you get this product. Malaki yung kanyang packaging you guys like this. Tapos may maliit na tube doon na you can actually use or put in your food if you want to. I have it in yung kanilang number 1 tsaka number 3 na shade. So ito yung itsura niya. I-remove ko to tapos swatch ko sa inyo. I don't know kung na-swatch ko na to before. Okay? I'm just gonna swatch it again you guys. Basically yung kanyang texture is like a Regular lip balm. Almost similar to itong peripera na medyo stiff, hindi siya soft, but it's melty and buttery yung kanyang texture. Na thin on the lips, it's not gonna give you that cushiony feel when you rub your lips together. And may konting minty, tingly sensation dito sa aking lips. Naman siya lasang sili, pero you know that there's something to promote yung pagka-plumpness nung lip. To me, yung kanyang tingly sensation is bearable naman, but if you don't like yung mga minty, maanghang sort of lip products, then I don't think this is for you. I treat it as a lip balm ito, yung number one shade, the green color. Next, itong red balm. Don't be overwhelmed by the shade, you guys, kasi ang ganda na itong color na to. Not totally opaque. It's just tinting the lips ever so slightly red. Almost pinkish yung itsura niya. Kind of like the cherry red color. It's super wearable. It's not overwhelming, not overpowering. But I'm going to switch back dun sa peripera kasi I think mas bagay siya dun sa look. Pero ito yung itsura niya. From my experience you guys, itong number 3, mas maanghang siya. It's tolerable. Hindi siya super anghang na ma masakit na talaga sa labi. Alam mo yon. Dahil medyo mild lang or hindi ganun kat matapang yung kanyang pagkaanghang you guys, yung kanyang plumping effect, I don't think that I notice it that much. Siguro meron, pero hindi ko lang siya talaga nanonotice. I think naman it's moisturizing na product. Like, it gives comfort to my lips when it's dry. Pero it's not my first choice for lip care mismo. Like, I would still go back to my Hypergleam or yung Silk Kiss lip oils ko. Like, kasi yun talaga yung nakikita kong my difference dun sa aking lips. Even after I take it off. This ones are okay, I think. I wouldn't say that they're bad. I like that they tried something to make it interesting yung kanilang product. Okay, now let's talk Vice Cosmetics. Dito muna tayo sa snapsticks kasi it's easier for me to talk about them. Ito yung mga shades nila, guys. Three mattes, three shimmers. They have caramel, rosewood, ash, 
Gilded, Rosé, and Bronze. I actually like these products from Vice Cosmetics. I think that these are super good quality eyeshadow sticks. Konti pa lang yung experience ko with eyeshadow sticks, you guys. I haven't tried yung detail cosmetics yung pen nila, yung eyeshadow crayons nila. Ang na-try ko pa lang is yung Revlon. And na-notice ko kasi na yun, those dry out after a couple of months. But I'm happy to report that these ones don't. They still are creamy, buttery, easy to glide, even after I've opened them for a couple of you know, weeks now. Almost one month siguro. I like that their packaging is all different. Color match to what the shades are so that you know the shades right away just based on the packaging. Mayroon din silang sharpener in the end which is really nice and convenient. I love that. I could use both my fingers or a brush to apply these products. Pwede pwede. I'll show you in the demo reel how I applied all six of these shades on my eyes right now. All the shades are on the neutral side you guys but for their first release I like the variety and depth. Mayroon silang really light shimmery shade tapos mayroon silang really deep dark shade and I think that ash kahit na it looks so different alam mo it blends so well even with caramel, with rosé bronze even, pwedeng pwede itong si ash. They're also long lasting on my eyes as in hindi rin sila masyado nagbabudge even if I touch it. Yung kanilang formula yung guys nagsa self set so make sure to work on your blending na as soon as you apply it kasi once it sets hindi na siya magbu-move but when you're applying another shade on top of it okay lang ko na set na siya kasi magbe-blend pa rin naman when you're blending the shimmers guys wag mo nang masyadong i-blend nang i-blend kasi mawawala yung pagka-luster niya hindi na siya ganoon ka-shiny as you first applied it so ang ginagawa ko apply the shimmer blend tapos apply the shimmer ulit yun lang naman i think yung pinaka-con na nakita ko dun sa kanyang shimmers gusto gusto ko talaga tong product line na nilabas ni Vice you guys, syempre, kasi eyeshadow siya. But most importantly, very, very easy to use and travel-friendly siya. Like, I could see myself packing one or two or even three shades in my travel kit kasi it's just tall and slim. Hindi siya super chunky, no unnecessary bulk on the packaging, I find. Whenever I travel, I always go for quick and easy makeup looks para out the door na kami agad, hindi kami nasa hotel. Kailin ko kasi sayang yung oras pag nasa hotel lang kami ng matagal, diba? So, that's what I like about their snapsticks. Now, let's talk about the mascaras from Vice Cosmetics. Super Mega Extra Drama, tapos yung Super Mega Ultra Curl Mascara. Let's talk about this one first, yung Super Mega Extra Drama Mascara. I love this mascara, guys. When they say lift, it really lifts, and it lasts so long, it stays all day. A little difficult to remove kasi yun nga, waterproof nga siya, pero grabe, guys. The look of my lashes late ito yung ginagamit ko lang. As in, parang falsies yung itsura niya. I usually apply 2 to 3 coats of this mascara sa akin and grabe yung dramatic na siya. It really fans out. It's really perky and quirky looking. I love that. As in, ang ganda talaga. The only bad thing that I have to say about this is mahirap siya matanggal. Which is the usual case naman when it comes to waterproof mascara. Now, when I apply this on my eyes, I usually use a lash curler. I heat my metal lash curler dun sa taas niya. And then, with that heat, mas magka-curl yung lashes ko. It's not a super wet mascara that goes everywhere on the eyes. And it holds up curl really well because it's not as dry. And I also like a one like this, yung medyo straight, tapos it kind of tapered towards the end, parang may tip siya. So perfect siya for the inner corners of the eyes, yung mga hard to reach. And madali lang siya gamitin to fan out or separate your lashes. It can get clumpy if you put so many layers. Siguro max ko na is three layers. When I use this together with my heated lash curler, which I will talk about later, it tends to get flaky. But when I curl my lashes using a lash curler, like this, tapos hinihit ko na lang itong upper metal part with a lighter, it won't do that. Like, hindi siya magiging flaky. Apparently, may ganun pa lang nangyayari there. So, let replace yung Sky High Mascara ko from Maybelline. Maybe not, but I'll tell you why later. Okay, now let's talk yung kanilang Super Mega Ultra Curl Mascara. You guys, I mean, Nung una naman, nung nireview ko to, hindi ko siya ganun ka nagustuhan kasi medyo basa siya. Tapos, parang it just doesn't hold curl that well. Kahit na ginawa ko na yung technique with the lighter and everything. So, I don't understand bakit ganun siya. Like, it's just really good for volumizing for me ha, itong product na to. Lengthening maybe, but not so much on holding the curl. Which is my number one consideration when 
evaluating if a mascara is gonna work for me or not. When I apply the mascara first, tapos ginamitan ko neto, makikita mo na parang some of the mascara came off, parang ang dami-daming product na napunta dito. I don't know. Hindi lang jive itong product na to with this tool. So yeah, for me, this one is a pass. Like, I don't like this. It's just that it work on its own. Kung baga, itong product na to. Cara, let's just talk about this one na. Ito yung heated lash curler that I purchased from Shopee. Um, yung brand niya is called Anlan. Isang button lang here. Uh, two options. So when you click on it first, it sets it to 65 degrees Celsius. When you click it again, it becomes 85 degrees Celsius. Tapos when you click it, for the third time, it turns it off. Pay attention to this tip kasi ito yung indicator kung ready na ba yung lash color mo hindi. It turns white when it becomes ready. The way for you to use it is to put your mascara first and then press it on your eyes when it's ready na. Namuti na siya. I hope you can see it. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, never pa ako nasunugan dito, you guys. Like, I know it's kind of weird kasi may init siya. For me, having stubborn eyelashes, this makes total sense to me. Made my lash routine mas sure-proof, mas simple. Parang ito, slowly but surely, na nakakurl yung aking lashes. Pero ito kasi, minsan hindi nag-work totally. Like, siguro 80%, 90%, it works. But sometimes, very, very stubborn lang yung lashes ko. This is my preferred way to curl my lashes now. Okay lang na I'd spend more time in curling my lashes as long as it stays up all day. And alam kong maganda yung kalalabasan. So, ito na yung parati kong ginagamit. As mentioned earlier in this video, itong pairing na to doesn't work. Apparently, ito rin medyo doesn't work. I didn't expect na meron pala siyang compatibility issues with some of my mascaras. I don't necessarily know what formulas work or not. Kasi iba-iba yung formulas ng mascara. So, so far, ang alam kong 100% nag-work at hindi mag-flake or hindi mag-masisira yung mascara mo is ito. Itong Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. Tsaka itong Heated Lash Curler. So, that's one huge caveat with this product na you have to consider when purchasing this. So, in this video, let's talk about my favorites from OVW brushes. Face brushes muna tayo. I have two. This large angled cheek brush is really huge and I love this for bronzers. I like that blown out bronzer type of look. Ayoko yung sobrang chiseled. Gusto ko yung parang you don't know where it starts, where it ends. So, ito is perfect for that. Tapos, sobrang laki pa niya, you guys. As in, it just makes bronzing super easy for my face. <laughs> for my nose, siyempre mas maliit ng area na to, I just pinch it para may mas straight na line siya tapos I just drag it along and parang chisel out, you know, create contours for my nose. So yeah, this one has been great but it's not my absolute favorite for face. Ito yung actually yung mas nagustuhan ko sa kanila. Yung kanilang pointed brush like this that's rounded, hindi siya flat on one end. It's just completely round. Ayan. So this one, I like this for highlighter, I like this for under eyes. I've yet to try it for blushes though, kasi nung nakita ko dun kay Marge, yung kanyang brush that is shaped like this, she likes it for blush as well. Kasi nabi niya na ito yung favorite shape niya na brush for blushes. Sobrang nagustuhan ko talaga neto, buti na lang that I purchased two. For my eye brushes, I did purchase a set, but yung pinaka-favorite ko sa kanila is itong brush na to, tsaka ito. Yan, zinung ko kayo for a closer look. Let's talk about this one first, yung kanilang pointed, fluffy blending brush. I've tried to use this as a setting powder brush that's targeted for my under eyes and it works so perfectly for that as well. Buff it around so it doesn't crease as much. Ayan. That's another technique that I learned from TikTok from Belle Rodolfo. Ayan. Nung una when I purchased this one, I mainly use this for my eyeshadow. Like a blending brush, alam mo yon. Minsan dito sa outer corners kasi pointed siya. So, medyo may pagka-precision siyang nabibigay sa akin for my eye look. So, that's, so this is a really nice multi-purpose brush for me. And this tiny detail brush is flat and pointed as well. So, again, my precision siya. It's really good for inner corner work for blending my lower lash line. I even tried to create like a wing using my eyeshadows and pwede rin naman to. It's not as sharp pero pwede na for that blown out wing sort of look if you're looking for something like that. Yung wing na nakita nyo doon sa aking new makeup releases video, ito yung brush na ginamit ko doon. It's really nice. I'm really happy that I have a tiny brush like this 
Kasi it's something that I think was missing sa aking brush collection. Itong apat na brushes yung na-enjoy ko from all the OVW brushes that I purchased. For the price point, it's kinda nice. I mean, I have washed this I think at least two times na itong mga brushes na to and they haven't shed yet. I think that these brushes are beginner friendly because of their price point and they also have a wide variety of shapes that you can choose from. Better din silang mga brush sets that you can purchase if you're trying to discover what brush shapes work for your style of makeup. Ayun, pwede mo siyang gamitin as a playground if you wish. But don't expect really really good quality dito you guys kasi Although they're soft, they're not the softest brushes that I have sa aking collection. And sometimes may pagka-scratchy siya also. Like in some angles, may pagka-scratchy siya. Hindi siya poke-proof. Tama ba yung word ko? Poke-proof. Itong ferrule niya, it's kind of weird. Parang hindi siya swaktong-sakto dito sa kanyang handle. May kita mo may space as opposed to this one na parang walang ganitong dent dito. And also, yung glue niya is sticking out. So, hindi siya ganong ka-polish. Again, the quality is something that I need to look out for these brushes. Kasi nga, they're cheap. But I don't know how long they would last. So, that's it for me, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this batch of updates. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Sana hindi siya ganong katagal. I'm now filming for almost an hour now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel, as always. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.